Now today we start the playlist uh, about Falak Rognatus Mulleri in English. Now this is um, probably the most famous of the stag beetles from Australia and uh, a lot of people say it's the most beautiful stag beetle in the world. Um, I have to check a box where I had uh, a female uh, 28th of uh, November it was one female in here and then I took it out after about two or three weeks and now I've checked it I have written 1st of April I shall check it now let's see what is have happened here um, normally I put some uh, white rotten wood inside of this uh, box is just to, to see uh, that the females lay their eggs in this white rotten wood also you can see that they dig that they dig holes and channels into these wood pieces and if you if you wait yeah sometimes the hard the wood is very hard so it's also difficult to take out um, the larvae from that wood normally when it's this hard I just leave the larvae in until they come out uh, themselves or until they have eaten up all of the all of the wood so this piece probably this is very hard I can't open it and I have, let's see this this this, this seems yeah, this seems much better so now let's open it and have a look what is inside now here you see the the channel uh, this is not made from the female the channel is made by the larvae itself you see here is one a small one here and here's another one and what I do now I take them out very carefully and I have prepared a box here with uh, kimchi this is uh, mainly it's a sawdust from beach um, uh, with the mushroom pleurotus pulmonarius and now I made some holes in it you see this here and I put the small L1 larvae of Phalacrondos milli in each of these holes so they can eat here because the first time uh, they come out as, a, as L1s they can be kept together so you don't have to separate them you can keep them together but you don't have to forget to put them in bigger boxes later so this, you see here's another one up here and here's another one in here here's one here here this is a piece of oak and this larvae here it's just molded to an L2 it's completely white do you see that completely white head it's just molded probably this hours to an L2 larvae so I have to pay attention that I don't disturb this one too much I just um, put it very carefully into one of these holes this one is an L, still an L1 this I can put here and this one I just uh, open up the hole so that it's not that I don't have to press it too much so and then we go for the next ones you see there are a lot of larvae in this small piece of wood this is a very nice soft white rotten wood piece from oak and they like it to be in these pieces of wood another L1 larvae comes into this little hole and then of course you have to carefully examine all the pieces sometimes they are in very small pieces of this wood so you must open it and look through also this piece could harbor some of them some more of them just try to open another side of course if you if you see a 
tunnel in the in the wood you just can follow the tunnel and then finally you should end up seeing a, a lorry but now I think for this piece we are finished now let's have a look at this piece of wood also here it seems that there's a big hole in here where the female probably went in to lay some eggs but also this piece of wood is very hard to open so I will leave it like that and open it later I keep these pieces of wood and for these that I examined I can reuse them to feed uh, tag beetle larvae or also rhinoceros uh, beetles and now let's have a look what happens here if you find some more larvae in the box it's not only that they follow Cognatus mulleri sometimes they also live in in the soil near two white rotten wood pieces so if we go down now there's a lot of worms here let's have a look whether we find some more pieces of wood this also is very hard I can't open it it's probably too this seems softer here we can try to open this one and have a look what is inside normally I don't like this worm so much because they they compost they make a compost out of the soil and that is not very good all the time for the larvae to get rid of them this one easy possibility is another larvae Phalacognatus milleri you see this is an L2 larvae so it's in them very good so L2 larvae also this one we put in, in one of these holes I see that I have some more uh, to put in the, another one here voila you see that also it's also an L2 So now we have to examine everything very carefully. Also, I said also in these small pieces of wood, you see this is another one here. Phalacrognatus milleri larvae. So, and then she can dig down here. Let's see whether there is another one. So they chew through this. Um, soft rotten wood very easily of course and uh, let's see whether I can open this one too oh yeah look here there's another one here also an L2 put it in here now we have already found eight larvae let's see this looks like it has some more this could be the channel that uh, the female uh, dug into the into the wood to lay the eggs and then the larvae developed in the wood piece so of course you have to do that very carefully not to uh, hurt the larvae that live in here this is another one very typically in the middle of this channel and you also see the small pellets the, uh, um, of the larvae here the larvae put some of the of the of the material from the wood into the tunnel that she grew. Now it's living in a little small room here in this oak piece. I take her out, this larvae, put her in here too. So it's also white rotten wood here, so they can enjoy eating this stuff. It's practically the same. This white rotten oak wood is inoculated with a mushroom, it's a mushroom shiitake, but it's not very important what kind of oh, what kind of uh, mushroom it is, but it must be a very good a very good mushroom white rotten mushroom wood piece 
So now I find 10 of them and I go on looking for more larvae. Probably I find another 12 or 10 in the, in the other pieces but I leave them uh, for the next two months there and then I go back to sea again. Bye.